Okay. Hello, Capricorns. How you doing? This is Keep It Classy. I'm doing you guys Romance of a Lifetime reading. Like, share, hit the notification button, be notified when I post a video. Join if you'd like to be a member of my channel. Also, check out the Six Benefits site in the description box below. It's an active website. Check that out. Feel free to donate to um, my channel, you guys. All right. Thank you much. I appreciate it. All right. We're going to get into your romance of a lifetime reading. Hey. Romance of a lifetime. The Capricorn. Energy. Romance of a lifetime for Capricorn's energy. Romance of a lifetime for Capricorn's energy. Okay, you guys, don't forget to leave your Cash App name in the comment box. Romance of a lifetime for Capricorn's energy. Romance of a lifetime for Capricorn's energy. Romance of a lifetime for Capricorn's energy. Dance of a lifetime for Capricorn's energy, please. Okay. And we have the Emperor. That's Aries energy. Okay, it doesn't have to be an Aries. It's, it could be somebody that's just the boss, independent, a business owner. To the cups. Somebody who already has a family. Um, we have Scorpio here. Death card. We have the five of wands. More fire. Sagittarius of Aries. We have the three of cups here. More water. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. And then we have the Four of Wands here. Okay, more fire. Okay, so somebody is manifesting you, this emperor. They're manifesting you. This person wants the Ten of Cups with you. They're willing what they want with you. It's like they're going against the grain. They may have tried other things to be able to be with you, but they didn't work. So now they're going against that grain. All right? You may have ended things with this person. Scorpio energy here. You may have ended things with this person in the past, or they could have ended things um, with someone they were dealing with, a Scorpio, and they want to rebirth with you. They want a new beginning with you. Five of Wands. This person may used to um may have been conflicted, innerly conflicted concerning you, confused at what they wanted with you. You know. They, they, used, um, they may have fought you off in the past, fended you off, but now they're, they're, they're coming in wanting to reunite. You know, they may have used to fight you out because they didn't know what they wanted, but now they want to reunite with you. Wow, four wands. And this person may be looking towards marriage. They want something serious. Um, Capricorn's energy. Yeah. Capricorn's energy. Romance of a lifetime. Capricorn's energy on the card. There you go, Capricorn. You just plopped out. Romance of a lifetime. Capricorn's energy is on the card. Romance of a lifetime for Capricorn's energy. Romance of a lifetime for Capricorn's energy, please. This is you, Capricorn. They see you as very stable, independent, secure. Um, they see you have a lot of wisdom, you know, concerning your finances. You know, they see you handle yourself very well, you know, top notch. They see you, you may be their equal in their eyes. And this has them wanting stability with you. Okay, Empress is here. They may want you to be there. This person um, sees you as husband, wife material. They love everything about you. They want you to be their Empress. Again, the husband or wife. Okay, 
You may have used to be a mistress. Hmm. You they they may used to have had you as a mistress, Leo energy. Okay, now that's ending. They want you to be the one, the main one. Nobody else involved. Um, they find you very sexy, beautiful, secure within yourself. Stable. Okay, there's a tower here. So this person may um, have caused their own tower. Anything's with this Scorpio. They caused it their self. They caused this tower just so they could move to charge for in a victory with you. So they ended things with a Scorpio. Yes, they did. If it's not a Scorpio, it's maybe a water sign carrying the. Um, they could they could have had a family with this um water sign, or a family dynamic, you know, situation going on with this water sign where they have stability with this person. Okay, we have two of cups here. Yeah, they want to move to charge for it in a victory with you. And a commitment. This is something they want to be committed. They want to be committed to you. Okay. Um, okay, the King of Swords is here. They're going to come in and speak some truth to you. This person may be at a distance from you. So when they come in speaking this truth, they may tell you they're, they're moving to where you are. Okay? They may be coming to you and visit you. If not moving to where you are, they may just be coming to a visit. And they're going to speak some truth to you on this visit. The Seven of Cups is here. Okay? This person... um. This is illusions here. The Seven of Cups. Or this could be this person just looking into options. Looking for a place to live or something of that nature. In your vicinity. Or they've been hiding how they truly felt about you. Feeding you illusions. Reading your illusions about how they truly felt. Where well, now they're going to come in speaking the truth to heal things with you. All right. This person's in love with you. And they've been hiding it. And now they're going to just come out and express it and speak the truth to you. Queen of, um, Queen of Cups is here. This person is very highly emotional over you. Um, yeah, they don't show it. They don't wear it on their sleeve. They hide it, but they have a lot of emotions for you. They feel a connection with you, an intuitive connection with you as well. They feel like you're, your their ace of cups. You're this person's fulfillment. They hold a lot of passion for you and they want a passionate new beginning with you. The ace of wands is here. All right. This is judgment. This person is wanting a revival. They want to revive things with you. Recon reconciliation. Okay. This person ended a cycle so they can get this reconciliation off the ground with you. A new beginning off the ground with you. Okay. Romance of a lifetime. Capricorn's energy. Excuse my voice, you guys. <laughs> oh, romance of a lifetime. Capricorn's energy. Man, of a lifetime. Capricorn's energy. Man, of a lifetime. Capricorn's energy. Okay, yeah. Oh, so the hangman is here. So this person is stagnant right now. 
I'm just trying to figure it out. Um, romance of a lifetime. They're stagnant. Let's see what they're trying to figure out. Hmm. Okay, they may be in a um something may be toxic. They may have some addictions. This person may be dealing with some addictions that they have, but they're obsessed over you. They're obsessed. They're obsessively thinking about you. All right. At the same time, this person is watching you. You know, nurture yourself. Be strong. Be independent. Growing successfully. You know, being creative. Growing into abundance. Right, and they're trying to gain insight on how to move forward with you, get a successful new beginning with you. So that's where they're stagnant at Pisces energy. Um, one more card, please. Romance of a lifetime. Oh, yeah, that's I'm good. romance of a lifetime. Um, Capricorn's energy, romance of a lifetime, yeah. They want a successful new beginning and getting stability with you. This person finds you, uh, they, they like that you're very discreet. Um, they find you to be um, beautiful, again, secure within yourself, stable, strong person, luxurious person. All right. And this, they want a successful new beginning at um, getting the stability off the ground with you. But right now they're, they're stagnant. They may be dealing with some addictions. They're healing themselves of. And again, this is a fire sign. Sag Leo Aries. Capricorn energy here. We have Libra energy here. So they could have all these signs in their chart. Or these are signs that you guys are. That are wanting to come into you guys. All right. We have. Um, you could have Taurus in your chart. All right. Because there is. Um. Scorpio's even here as well. So Capricorn, that's what I have for you guys. Um, like, share, hit the notification button to be notified when I post a video. Join if you'd like to be a member of my channel. Um, don't forget to drop your Cash App name, all right? Love you guys. Be good. And have a blessed week ahead.